Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we are switching from this PC right here, this 3090 i9-9900K with 64 gigabytes of RAM, an absolute monster PC, to this. This is the brand new Mac Mini 20. 21 edition with the m1 chip this is maxed out as it can come and we are going to first off obviously you guys can see this is my pc this is my mac right here we are not only are we going to completely switch over to the mac but in order to switch over to the mac we have to first do something because i'll be honest with you i can't rock dual on one screen i can't I need dual screens in my work environment. If you guys do not know, I run four different YouTube channels. I make daily content on four channels. I make eight videos a day. I am just full one content creator, right? So I need to have something that I can run on both two screens, right? So this bad boy, go off Amazon. I'll leave a link down below in the description to the actual device. It's called the Anchor right here now this is a USB-C to HDMI connector so what this does is it lets me turn one of these USB-C ports into an HDMI port which lets me directly speaking dual screen this guys let's go ahead and plug this in and see and just it. like that boys it is a dual screen monitor my Mac mini is now displaying off this screen and this screen right here so there we go now for this next month this 3090 mid tower and ZXT build will not be used. We will be using the Mac Mini to do all my video editing. Um, all my recording for my Elgato will be done through the Mac Mini. Now, the good thing about the Mac Mini, okay? <laughs> good thing about the Mac Mini. I'm sorry, good thing about Mac is Mac doesn't like to work with crap, right? I had to buy a brand new Elgato because any of the 4K Elgatos are not supported on the Mac. Now, you could say, why don't you just run Intel or Windows on this MacBook? I mean, on this Mac Mini. I could do that. That'd be cheating. The whole point is you Mac, right? So that'd be cheating if I ran Windows on this. But with that in mind, though, you know, for the next month, we're going to be using this bad boy right here. And I'm excited about it because I think it's going to be a really good time. It's very powerful. It's not as powerful as 3090, but the M1 chip is a very powerful chip. It has very good specs. And I don't game. Right now, I'm not gaming on PC. I'm gaming on console on my PS5. So this might be a perfect time to, you know, not worry about PC gaming as much. Especially right now with not many good titles out. So... And by the way, I say that with the fact that I've already beat Resident Evil 7, or sorry, 8, 7 times now. Keep that in mind, so. That's the best title out. Nonetheless, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'm interested to see how this ends up doing. We're going to be putting this Mac Mini to the ultimate test to see. And I think what eventually I'm going to do is make it long with HDMI cord so I can put it on both screens here and have that all set up perfectly fine. Because right now, we just have it right here and right here. But, like I said before, this is not sponsored. But Anchor, that is the my adapter I'm using. See you guys next one. Peace out.